On today's episode of Hidden Histories, we will explore the lost city of the monkey god. Part 3, Lost City Found. Locating the city would not be easy. The Muscotia region in Honduras is one of the few places left in the world that is almost completely unexplored. The jungle there is very dense, and there are strange diseases and animals that threaten the people who venture into it. Many archaeological sites had been found in that area that weren't part of the White City, but they still fueled the interest of those eager to explore that unknown territory. Filmmakers by the name of Steve Elkins and Bill Benison started their own search. During their venture, they pointed out a deep crater between two steep mountains as a probable location for the city. They did not find the ruins at that time, but what made the new expedition possible was a top-secret technology developed by the U.S. Department of Defense, an advanced form of LIDAR a ground-penetrating method similar to radar that permitted the explorers to see evidence of human habitation even under a seemingly impenetrable rainforest. In 2012, an air survey was performed in the area. This consisted of a Cessna carrying a LiDAR scanner. The LiDAR scanner probed the jungle with its laser light to determine if any human architecture was in the area. After the flight and the images were processed, they detected unnatural architecture and features beneath the jungle canopy. A team was assembled in 2015 to explore the area. And on that expedition, the amazing lost city of the monkey god was finally discovered. The scientists found 52 artifacts sticking out of the ground with many more clearly lying in the earth and vegetation beneath. They included stone ceremonial seats and finely carved vessels decorated with snakes, vultures, and animal-like figures. One of the objects that stood out was a statuette that depicted a shaman in a possible spirit state transformed into a jaguar wearing a helmet. But soon after their expedition, they too began to fall ill and form the same pustules and lesions that Mord and his team encountered. Could they also be suffering from the curse of the city of the monkey god? Another important question is what happened to those who lived in the white city? Today, with the availability of advanced medical knowledge and more precise testing, the team sought medical help right away and soon found out that the lost city was indeed protected, not by any supernatural force, but instead by a flesh-eating disease that infected the whole team. It's a debilitating sickness that causes spots or sores on faces, legs, and arms. It's a flesh-eating parasite caused by a sand fly, leading to the disease called leishmaniasis. As for the probable cause of the sudden disappearances of the lost civilization around 1500, some believe they were struck by a curse, possibly falling victim to a disease. It is most likely that they too succumbed to an epidemic disease brought on by Columbus and those who followed him. Others believe illnesses like smallpox and measles hit this area between 1000 and 1400 AD. People who lived in those cities would not have the genetic defense to protect themselves from the diseases. Do you agree with our findings? If not, find your own evidence, do your own research, and share it with us in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to be alerted when new videos are available.